channel if you're new and if you're already subscribed thanks for coming back so if you are new to my Sunday setup um, videos <laughs> my husband is playing an obnoxiously loud game with the girls it's super cute but extremely annoying but that's their little bonding thing so I just we're just gonna roll with it anyway if you're new to Sunday setup what I do is I take you around my home and I show you what I do to prepare myself and my family for the up and coming work slash school week and and I think I will be using my instant pot for the first time today I got an instant pot for Christmas um, and I'm really excited and so I forgot to take the chicken out to the early this morning but <laughs> you see what I'm talking about this extremely annoying game uh, I didn't thaw the chicken out early early enough, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to put it in the Instant Pot Frozen, but anyway, we'll talk about that later on. So today, what I need to focus on right now is I gotta get ready to wash Zara's hair. I gotta do both the girls' hair. I've gotta cook, hopefully, with the Instant Pot today. And I have to edit a video all today and pick the girls' clothes out for the week. If you're interested, interested to see what I typically do every week, you can download my free Sunday setup checklist down below, and then you can create your own for you and your family for the week. So let me get this stuff together so I can wash Zara's hair. So this is our new setup for wash day. Her hair's so dirty. Um, I use this pool noodle here. Uh, somebody left it in the comments, and I wish I could remember who, but she said it helps them um, with the pool noodle. So. Um, it's more comfortable and it lifts their head up and stuff so I will push it back a little bit when I get ready to wet her hair but right now I'm just waiting for the water to warm up and I'm trying to thaw my chicken all right Zara has the deep conditioner on her hair and while she has deep conditioner on her hair I am going to edit and as quick as I started the beeper just went off on the microwave so it's time to rinse her hair out okay got my load done I put my clothes in as soon as I got up this morning. So now I'm going to, gotta fold those sheets. I have a load of the girls' clothes to wash and I have um, a load of theirs to um, fold and put away. But as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to finish Zara's hair. Hair time. Zara is all done. Can you turn around, Zara? Ava's turn. All done with Ava. Now it's time to get dinner. Can you look at me, baby? Oh, so pretty, girl. Mama, yes. I have water. Yes, let's go get some. So while I was doing the girls' hair, so hubby folded my clothes and two loads for the girls, so I'm now going to pick out their clothes. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be freezing here in Georgia. So <laughs> makes it kind of easy because I just know it's going to be cold all week, so lots of warm stuff. How about these jeans for Zara? <gasps> I bought her a size eight. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to buy her a size seven. Oh no. I'm so disappointed in myself. I just wasn't paying attention. I meant to buy her a size seven. These are gonna be way too big and I just popped the tag. But I still have my receipts and Costco is really good about that. So I will just try to go back and exchange them. Hopefully they'll still have them. If you're new to my Sunday setups, I pick out my kids clothes on Sunday. That's like crucial for me to do. I pick out what they're gonna wear. <clears throat> Uh, undershirts, underwear, socks, and everything so they're, we're good to go and I'll show you where I place them in just a second. Okay, I know it looks a mess but sweaters are really bulky in the winter time and I am gonna buy a second one to put right here um, because the girls are getting bigger now and their clothes are getting bigger so anyway this is the days of the week so I just come in here I know exactly whose is what I grab it and you know they get ready for the day. I did redo their whole closet I know it looks kind of messy but it's so much better than what it was. And I put the whole thing on in my Instagram. I think it's a highlighted story. I think it's called New Year's Day or Closet Clean Out or something like that. Uh, but make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see the, this. But this was a huge, huge step and project for us. I don't fold their pajamas. I just throw them in here. Three cubicles for Ava, three for Zara. So they can come in here and grab them. But yeah, I mean, it's a lot, lot better. And we got rid of tons and tons. We donated tons of clothes. So this is great. Okay, so this is a must do every Sunday. So now I'm gonna get ready to start dinner. Okay, so I've done, I meal plan a little bit differently now. Um, I still have my monthly meal plan template. You can download it. 
um, in the description box for free down below. But <clears throat> what I've started doing is just taking inventory of the meats that I have because I can always throw a side into it. So this inventory will tell me this is what I, I'm going to eat for the month of January and probably spill over into February as well. I'm going to make the lemon garlic chicken tonight. All right, guys, so this is the Instant Pot I got. I haven't opened it. I got it for Christmas. I haven't opened it yet. I definitely want to, but I'm a little scared. Like, can I just open it and use it? I am a part of a Facebook group all about Instant Pot cooking, but um, everybody raves about it. But is it really that easy? So I'm going to try. I'm going to open it up and see if I can make my chicken in there. And while it's cooking in the Instant Pot, I'm going to make some rice for the girls only. Of course, I'm still eating ketogenically. Um, if you want to hear about how I lost 18 pounds over the summer eating following a keto diet, you can tap this eye right here. And I'll make some green beans and the girls will have rolls with it. But yeah, this is it. So, okay, let me open the box and see if I'm going to be able to use it tonight or not. Wow, guys, this is huge. It's huge. I'm so excited. I hope I'm able to use it. I don't know if you have to do anything to it beforehand or anything, but this is so big. So, so big. So let's finish taking it apart. Okay, about to make a test run. Um, you're supposed to test it before you actually cook in it. And the girls are coloring and listening to music on, like my our iPads are connected, so whatever's on my iPad, they listen to, so that's what they're doing. All right, guys, so I literally Googled lemon garlic chicken in the Instant Pot, and I found a recipe that I'm gonna use. I will link it down below, but leave a comment. Leave a comment in case I forget. But it says to add butter and garlic, brown the chicken, then place it on a plate. Then you're going to cook it for 15 minutes on poultry and then uh, broil it for one to three minutes, I guess, to make sure that it's brown and then it should be done. So let's give it a try. So I sauteed the <clears throat> garlic and butter and now I'm browning the chicken. This is the first batch and I'll be flipping it soon. Okay, I do not know if this is right, but it's like burning up. Okay, I'm gonna put the chicken back in. See, the the, the recipe uses um, full chicken breast and I have tenderloin, so I'm not gonna put it on for 15 minutes. I'm maybe gonna put it on for 10 and check it from there. All right guys, it just popped and I'm a little bit nervous because I hope I didn't mess the chicken up, but let's open it up and see. Let's see, the girls are having a mental. Ooh, 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 be, be careful. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not. Okay, I, we're starting to think we did something wrong because it's been about a good three solid minutes of this just releasing like this. Do I open it? No. I don't know. Oh, I hope I didn't mess it up. All right, guys, it's a little bit burnt up. <laughs> this is a learning curve for us. So we're just gonna look at this side. This side is not too bad. It's just heavily browned. Um, oh gosh, it's horrible. But guess what, we're gonna eat it. So let me take it out. I think I thought it would just cut up on its own and I think that's where I messed up because I didn't hit cancel. I don't know. If you guys, if any of you guys have this exact crock pot or this exact Instant Pot, leave a comment down below and let me know what, it, what did I do wrong. And also, if you have an Instant Pot, Tell me what your favorite Instant Pot recipe is. Leave a link to it or just type it in um, and let me know. But, oh well, we're gonna eat the chicken. I'll let you know how it is. So tomorrow, Zara is turning. How old are you turning, babe? Six. Six. So we're making cornbread muffins to take in for her class. They're not allowed to have like sweets or sugar, you know, cake or any cookies or anything like that. So um, cornbread um, muffins are one of her faves. So she decided to make some for her class. Go ahead and pour it in the bowl, babe. Pour it all in there. Good job. Remember this no, time for Costco Christmas? Well, Santa bought Sarah this for Christmas. She's making her cornbread muffins. We're gonna open it up so she can use some of the stuff. The chicken was actually very, very good, y'all. For it, for us to have, you know, accidentally burnt it, it was still pretty moist. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the picture, but it was, you know, it would have been perfect, perfect had we not burnt it. But I'm, I'm not giving up on the an Instapot. I must say it was very quick and easy. So like I said, leave your favorite recipes down below or tell me what you like to make in your Instapot if you have one. All right. And Zara made her cornbread muffins. So now I'm going to make some blueberry cornbread muffins for her to take in for her class. Zara's cornbread muffins look beautiful. Um, these are plain and then these are the blueberry um, oh, my husband threw it away or else I'd show you the box. Oh wait, um, this blueberry muffin mix, the Jiffy blueberry muffin mix, it smells really, really good. I just want to pop one in my mouth really bad, but I'm just gonna say no. 
so and I have a few more I had a little bit of a batter left so I have like three more muffins to make and then I'll just put the top on and be, we'll be good to go all right we're having family game night now that we're done eating and making the muffins <laughs> we're gonna play one round of connect four and then it's gonna be bath time and I still have to pack the kids lunch and um, do some YouTube stuff for the night Zara and I won the first round we did good let's do our handshake baby Hair flip! <laughs> oh, that's two in a row for Zara and me! <laughs> he hates to lose. <laughs> and I'm so super competitive. I'm like, I don't play that, you know? We take that's it like really serious. But anyway, okay, it's time to get the girls in the bed. We're now reading our um, devotions for preschoolers. Come on, baby, so we can finish. <laughs> All right, okay. Come on, Zara. All right, so the food is put up from dinner tonight and the girls' lunches are made. I will we'll be having leftovers for dinner tomorrow. Um, if you're interested in seeing what I pack for their lunch, or at least what I pack for Zara, is my last, you can watch my last um, kids' lunch, school lunch ideas videos. You click the um, eye in the upper right-hand corner, but I'm currently filming one for when I pack for both of them, so. Okay, it's like, let's see what time it is. It's about 9.30, it's YouTube time. I'm gonna try to cut it off at 10 because I get really tired but gotta push through and I gotta elevate elevate is my word for the year for 2018 alrighty <clears throat> I made it and it is now 10 14 not too bad over so I'm gonna go up and get ready for bed all right guys so I'm pooped just found out too that the girls do not have school tomorrow it's closed uh, the county that I live in closed the county and their Montessori school just follows whatever the county does so they're closed tomorrow so I have to decide on what I'm gonna do if, it, if it's really they're closed for ice it, it ice is really bad here in Georgia it's been like crazy cold here like record-breaking cold weather like in the teens and 20s and stuff for a extended long period of time so I still do have an idea but I'd like to pick out my clothes and my head of what I'm gonna wear for for the week so I have an idea of what I'm gonna wear so I'm gonna get ready to hop in the shower and then just get in the bed and try to detox I'm trying not to get on my phone as much before I go to bed because I notice that it like hypes me up like it's worse than watching TV to me now because it's like I don't know I start scrolling and then it's like and then I was reading this article about how um, being addicted to your phone it's like a real thing and how it's like a little um, hit of dopamine Every time you keep scrolling, you, you see something funny or you see something that's going on with your friends <clears throat> or you read about something you want to read about. I don't know. It's like it's just like a little hit of dopamine and it, you keep wanting to do it and wanting to do it. And then you end up on your phone for like three hours instead of just like 15 minutes. So I'm trying not to get on my phone at night. I just like to relax, you know, say my prayers, have a little bit of me time, maybe watch a TV show and then go to bed. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this Sunday setup. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you do for your Sunday setup. I love hearing that, you know, you guys implement a system for Sundays. I think regardless if you work at home or if, if you uh, are a stay-at-home mom or if you work outside of the home, we all need to schedule our days and our, our weeks so that it flows smoothly for our family. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above. And you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.